So I woke up today and I checked on the farm like usual. I noticed that I had lost an awful lot of plots. I went into my Unraid controller, I did a couple diagnostic scans, and I saw that one of my hard drives has died. So that is a Seagate uh, Barracuda that has bit the dust. I'm really concerned that this is going to turn out bad for me. It looks like with Seagate, if you don't have the original case it came in, you might have yourself a problem there. Um, unfortunately, they don't make a label that identifies which drive is in which case. So that's going to make things a little bit difficult. We're going to get on the phone with Seagate maybe and see if we can't get some sort of a resolution. Find out if that actually is true from what I read. That is true, not necessarily true with WD. And find out how big of a deal this is. Maybe I can get the RMA. Maybe I can't get the RMA. That's going to be really a bummer if I can't get the RMA. I guess I will just, like, I don't know what to do. I can't mail the disc to them like 30 times in different shucked containers. That'll just eat up costs. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is grab this drive. And man, what a short life. Unfortunately, this drive just did not have very long, good longevity. And you know, I think I have 22 Seagate Barracuda 8 terabyte drives that are in the same kind of situation. And I guess I shouldn't really be that surprised that I had one fail out of that number. But at the same time, this sucks. So we've got our Seagate eight terabyte failed drive here. And I'm just gonna enter in the serial number here. One F A Y. Check that warranty status. And this is what I'm getting that is not good. So yeah, usually, if you've got a drive that is not going to be a problem to RMA, it'll just come up there. They don't ask for original, you know, re receipt or anything like that. I've returned things to Seagate in the past. They don't care about that. They just care that the drive is in the warranty in their system. So this is where I think that we've got a problem. I'm going to get them on the phone and I'm going to find out whether or not that is actually true. So first off, let me just ask. Is it okay if I record this conversation? Because there's kind of some information on the internet about whether or not you can return a product that has been shucked, which is kind of removing it from its case. And I was just trying to clarify whether or not I would be able to do that. So is it is that okay with you? Sure, sir. And uh, do you have a case number that I can refer to? I do not yet have a case number, no. Okay, I'll quickly create one for you. So I have a hard drive. I had shucked this hard drive, which is basically removing it from the USB enclosure so that I could use it in a desktop computer. This drive failed. So I was needing to find out to do an RMA on this drive. And I mean, this drive is only three months old. What do I need to do? Okay, I can help you with that, sir. Can I have the serial one on the back, please? ZR101FAY. A Barracuda 2.5 inch drive, 8 terabytes? That's correct. You were mentioning that this one was out of its enclosures. Uh, can you, what, what is it that you mentioned, sir? Like, uh, is, was it an external hard drive that you took out of enclosures? Yeah, it was a USB hard drive, and I took it out to use it inside my uh, computer. And so I just was trying to figure out, do I have to put, and, and like I mentioned, I have like 22 or something like that of these drives, which is a lot. And so I didn't like keep a record of which drive came out of which enclosure. So I was wondering if that's a big deal or how do I do this RMA or how, what do I do? Is there a way to find out which drive came from which enclosure? So the hard drive uh, that you took out of the computer, sir, uh, it was basically void the warranty on it. Well, okay, but in the United States, you can't dictate the terms of how I use a product. You can't say that you're not going to warranty a product because of that. So, I mean, there is that aspect of it. I'm not going to get into, like, if that's your official stance and Seagate's official stance, then that's okay and I'll pursue different, you know, kind of things with the credit card company about that. But I just wanted to find out your your official stance is you're saying the warranty's void, I removed it from the hard drive enclosure. Is that correct? Uh, yes, just give me one moment. Uh, let me just confirm that information for you. Can I just put you on hold real quickly? Yeah. So we'll see whether or not that I can get this to go through. Um, 
Man, how would you like to start out your day with this call? I feel bad for this guy, like... Right. So, uh, the serial number uh, that this guy, uh, like the exterior of your hat, uh, can you write that down? Oh, yeah, I can write that down. Just one second. And like I mentioned, I mean, this was information that has been floating around with just a lot of, you know, people not knowing and so that's why you know I'm doing a video and I'm recording this and like I mentioned earlier and I just want to make reiterate is it okay if I actually am recording this and putting it out on YouTube later if not I can edit out your voice from the parts of this and they can just get my side of the conversation okay. uh, sure, sir. You can use it. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, get the correct, uh, correct information for you right now uh, just, I'll first give you the uh, exterior serial number. Okay, great. Okay, I'm checking ready. On, uh, checking in with someone about that. Okay. So, give you a correct place so that I can provide correct information to you. Okay. So, whenever you're ready, uh, I'll just give that information to you and then I'll uh, just, uh, I'll get back to the other person that I'm checking with. Okay, sounds good. So I do have that enclosure and I, I saved all the enclosures and all the packaging and stuff like that. So what do I need to do for this particular drive? Put it, do I need to put it back into the enclosure and then send it back? Uh, so in order to do the replacement, we don't have to do that. But again, I'm just checking about the information regarding the uh, the enclosure. Just give me one moment, please. Can I just put it on hold again, please? Yes, thank you. Yeah, and so that enclosure number is nowhere anywhere on the label so you are totally if you can't get the enclosure number and if you don't have that enclosure probably going to be out of luck but if you can call get the enclosure if you have an rma this could be you know a really good saving grace for people out there just be smarter than i am be smarter than i was record your serial number and the enclosure number up front so you don't have to do this but if you're in my situation, well, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, sir, uh, I'm sorry, can I give you a call back in like a few minutes? Uh, I'm just checking in on some of this information about sure. the lawyer part. Yeah. I'm really sorry about this. No, that's fine. Um, yeah, you can give me a call back. Do you got my phone number? Hmm. I was just looking for information for you, sir. I just wanted to make sure that we, uh, like I, because you're make, uh, like I, you asked for some information, I wanted to make sure I had to make a proper information for you. Sorry about that. No, no, no. That's very important, actually, because, I mean, getting an official take on it is something that I, I, I think is important so people know exactly what the expectation is. So uh, we have like a wacky white checklist on our website. As long as your product is meeting with these requirements, uh, I would say it's okay for you to do the replacement. But if you're doing the replacement, you have to send this send the drive in the in, in the enclosures back to us. Okay. Is there? A, well, that's great information. And so this is what I thought, and this is what I'll be putting in the video: is that you need to have your enclosure. Uh, is it kind of the same RMA process that I've gone through before with Seagate? Uh, I'll just give you the information regarding the RMA right now, if you, if you don't mind. Sure. Checklist that voids the warranty. Okay. So, and I also sent that, e uh, sent that email to you right now, sir, on your uh, email address. Okay. And uh, what is the price of the replacement if they did charge for just a replacement? $140. Yeah, two hundred and forty dollars, and I mean, for an eight terabyte hard drive, I was hoping that it would be a reasonable amount. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the first option, which is I'll send the drive to you guys, um, and we can just take it from there. Hopefully, everything's a smooth process here, and people have that information, and I can put that information out there to people uh, that they need to save their enclosures no matter what. Uh, and they should document the drive that comes out of a particular enclosure so that they have that and they don't have to call in and bother you guys with, you know, things like that. Yes, sure, sir. And uh, also, the email that I sent to you, uh, there's a link in that email that I mentioned. Uh, it's a list of what, what, what voice they 
Okay. So uh, if, if that that will be helpful for the video. Okay. Very good. Um, so I guess I just need uh, the RMA number to send this back, correct? Uh, yes, sir. So there you have it. Now, in part two of this video, we're going to follow up with what actually happened. So I haven't gotten the email yet, but when I get the email, I'm going to be sending the drive in. I'm going to go find the enclosure, put it back in the enclosure. Luckily, I kept all the screws, all the boards, all the cables, all the everything. And I hope you've been doing the same also. I think hoarding turned out to benefit me this time, maybe. This would have been a quick no on an RMA had I not had that. Make sure to subscribe, hit like, and ring that bell so that you can find out in part two how this turns out. It will be several days, I imagine, because I have to mail this in. That'll take some time, and then they're going to mail one back. So, and I'm hopeful that this can be useful to you as well.